This is Twit. Um, most phones now, modern phones, have the ability to, you just hold down the home button at the bottom and that triggers the Google Assistant. What, yeah. what, if, you don't want, what if you don't want it to? You can change it with Assistant Shortcuts. Uh, this is an app that lets you remap the Google Assistant button on your phone to do something else. So what you have to do, the, the, the negative of this is that you actually turn off Google Assistant. So you, you, as part of this, you're, you're agreeing to, I don't want Google Assistant. You're going to move to Assistant Shortcuts, uh, which is fine because not everybody wants to use Google Assistant or use it in this way. Um, and once you do that and hit it again and you have to turn on the accessibility, um, so you you set it as the assistant. So go back, Jason. Okay. Uh, go back yeah. there and now swipe left. Oh, I see. I see. Right, now set accessibility. Um, yeah. and you can turn accessibility on, right? So there you can go there, and um, and now you're all set and you're all done. So here, well, you just went away from it. Go back to the app if you not can. Set up. Oh, I see. Yeah. I yeah. Not set up anything. Yeah. Here yeah. Right. Sorry. Sorry. I'm trying yeah. to. What? My phone doesn't work. <laughs> Whoa. My phone doesn't work anymore. Right, there we go. Okay. So now here in Assistant Shorts Up, you can choose what you want to enable when you hold down the, the notification button. You can you can enable um, the misspelled notifications. I just noticed that. But you can use notica notifications. Yeah, it's more efficient. Um, you can, you can have the Assistant button um, open up the notification panel or open up your quick settings. Or if you're running Android P, um, you can take a screenshot, which is very handy because I hate the power button volume combination of screenshots. Yeah. Um, the classic turn on the flashlight, um, or you can enable rotation locking, but it doesn't stop there. You could also switch to um, to functions within your phone instead of shortcuts to buttons where you can switch to the last used app or go back or recents or home or enable split screen. Or you can have it launch specific apps. If there's a specific app you use all the time, you can map uh, the assistant button to that app. Um, and it's just one tap and you're good to go. And then if you uh, whatever, Jason, you've set it to. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to use this all the time. Hold down the assistant button and it launches the goats game. Yeah. Just look at that. It's amazing. Exactly. Simple. Assistant shortcuts free in the Google Play Store. <laughs> Boom. There when, you go. When you want when you don't want assistant, but you want the goats game. The go go goats <laughs> game. That's that's how you do it. Hey goats. <laughs> uh there we go.